In this video, we will learn about the area of square and rectangle. Uncle and Golu want to change the floor tiles of their houses. Both have come to buy tiles in the market. Both Uncle and Golu like the tiles of this design. Both bought the tiles for their respective homes. After reaching home, Uncle started laying down the tiles. Each tile is square in shape and its edges are one meter long. Uncle first started laying tiles along the length of the floor of his room. Then Uncle saw that there were a total of six tiles in the length of his floor. Oh! The length of my floor is equal to six tiles with one meter long edges. That means my rectangle shaped floor is six meters long, thought uncle. Then uncle started laying the tiles along the width of his rectangle shaped floor. Uncle laid a total of four tiles along the width of his floor. There are a total of four one meter long tiles in the width of my floor. That means my rectangle shaped floor has a width of four meters. Hmm, but how do I find out how many tiles it will take to completely cover my floor? I have six square shaped tiles in the length of my floor. That means six such horizontal rows will be made. And there are four square shaped tiles in the width of the floor. That means there will be four tiles in each horizontal row. Now it's become very easy. All I need to do is multiply the number of rows by the number of tiles in each row and I will know the total number of tiles needed to cover the floor. In other words, I have to multiply the length of the floor of this rectangle shaped floor with its width. 6 times 4 is 24. 24 tiles will be required to cover the rectangle shaped floor and the fun part is that covering this rectangle shape completely will be equal to its area. This means the area of this rectangle shaped floor is 24 square meters. Uncle finished laying the tiles on his floor. Come. Let's see what Golu is doing. Golu's floor is square shaped. So the length and width of his floor are exactly equal. He has laid four one meter long tiles along the edge of his floor. This means the edge of his square shaped floor is four meters long. In order to find the number of tiles required to cover Golu's square-shaped floor, he only has to multiply the lengths of any two edges of his floor. In this way, Golu needs 4 times 4 or 16 tiles. In other words, Golu's square-shaped floor has an area of 16 square meters. Golu too covered his floor with those beautiful tiles. See how beautiful Uncle and Golu's floors look. Children, in this video we learned about the area of square and rectangle. In the next video, we will learn more about it through some interesting examples.
In the last video, we learned about the area of square and rectangle. In this video, we will learn more about it through some interesting examples. Chanda wants to fit a glass in her window pane. She has got such a frame made for her rectangle shaped window and now she has come to buy glass in the market. Oh no! I came to buy the glass but I don't know how big a glass I need. If I can find the area of the glass in some way, then it'll be easier for me to buy the glass. Thought Chanda. While thinking this, Chanda reached Gaggu's mirror shop. Chanda, why do you look so upset? Gaggu asked Chanda. Gaggu, I want to buy a glass for my rectangle shaped window. I remember the perimeter of the frame of my window and also the length of the window. But I do not know the area of glass I need for the window. Oh, such a small thing. I can help you. Look Chanda, your window is rectangle shaped. That means we can write the perimeter of your window as 2 times the length of the window plus 2 times the width of the window. Can you now tell me what is the perimeter of your window? 12 meters. And what is the length of your window? 5 meters. Gaggu quickly wrote the perimeter and length of Chanda's window in this way. Now look Chanda, we can easily find the width of your window in this way. Look. The width of your window is 1 meter. Now, because your window is rectangle shaped, we only have to multiply the length of the window by the width of the window to find the area of the glass in your window pane. In this way, the area of your glass will be 5 times 1. 5 square meters. Chanda thanked Gaku and happily returned home after purchasing her glass from his shop. And children, if Chanda's window would have been square instead of a rectangle and if its perimeter would be 24 meters, then can you find the area of Chanda's window? If you want, you can find a solution by stopping the video. As we saw in the previous video, since all the edges of a square are exactly the same, we can find the perimeter of a square by multiplying the length of any edge by 4. Therefore, the perimeter of a square shaped window will be 4 times the length of any of its edges. In this way, we can find the length of any of the edges of the window as 6 meters. We can find the area of the square window by multiplying its length and width. But do you remember children? that all edges of a square are exactly the same. Therefore, the measurement of the length and width of this square window will be exactly the same, 6 meters. In this way, the area of the window would be 6 times 6, 36 square meters. Children, in this video, we learned more about the area of square and rectangle through some interesting examples. In the next video, we will look at some of the misconceptions related to this. Hello children! 
In the previous video, we learned more about the area of square and rectangle through some interesting examples. In this video, we will see some of the misconceptions related to this. Babban is preparing to bake a cake for Banno's birthday. Just then, Appu came to his house. What are you doing, Babban? I am preparing to bake a cake for Banno. Oh wow, Babban! But why did you use this small tray instead of this big tray to bake the cake? Appu, I have found the perimeter of both trays in this way. And look! The perimeters of both are exactly the same, 36 centimeters. This means that both trays are exactly the same. <laughs> Baban, it is not necessary that the areas of two rectangles having equal perimeters would also be the same. So, it is not necessary that because the perimeters of these two trays are the same, their areas will also be the same. Look, the area of this rectangle shaped tray will be 12 times 6 or 72 square centimeters. And the area of this rectangle shaped tray will be 10 times 8 or 80 square centimeters. So, this tray is bigger than this tray. Understood? Ooh, I understood. And now, I will make Banno's birthday cake in this big tray. You must come to her birthday party, Appu. Babban baked a beautiful cake for Banno using that big tray. Children, in this video we saw some misconceptions related to the area of square and rectangle. Hello kids! In this video, we will learn about perimeter of a figure. Bhola's farm has had a very good crop this time. He thought he would come back the next day and harvest his crop. The next day, when Bhola reached his farm, he saw that mice had created a havoc there. Those mice were eating Bhola's tomatoes with great interest. Bhola drove the mice away and thought that he would make a barbed wire fence around his farm. He immediately brought the barbed wire from the market. Initially, Bhola made a fence for that part of the field in which tomatoes and pumpkins were sown. If tomatoes and pumpkins have been cultivated in these types of squares and rectangle shapes. Can you answer how many meters of wire has Bhola used to make a fence around tomatoes and pumpkins? To estimate the length of the wire used in a fence, we need to find the perimeter of that place. Tomatoes are cultivated in a square sized area with each side being 5 meters in length. And because all the sides of the square are of equal length, the size of a square shaped fence will be 4 times the length of the side. In this way, Bhola used 4 times 5 or 20 meters long wire to make a square shaped fence. The rectangle shaped fence is 12 meters in length and the width is 6 meters. Every rectangle has two long edges and two wide edges. 
In this way, the size of this rectangular fence will be arrived at by adding 12 and 6 with 12 and 6 again. That is 36 meters. Children, if Bhola has sowed carrots in this plot, can you answer how many meters of wire would Bhola have to use to make a fence around it? If you want, you can find a solution by stopping the video. This plot is triangular shaped. Therefore, to find the perimeter of its fence, we only have to add the length of its edges. In this way, to fence this plot, Bola needs to add the sides 6, 10 and 8. Therefore, he needs a 24 meter long wire. Bola finally put up a barbed wire fence around his farm and those mice never bothered Bhola again. Children, in this video, we learned about perimeter of a figure. In the next video, we will learn more about it by using some interesting examples. Hello children! In the last video, we learned about the perimeter of a figure. In this video, we will learn more about it by some interesting examples. Bannu has started selling designer bed sheets along with saris. Bannu thought, Why don't I put beautiful laces on the edges of these sheets? So, she bought a 14 meters long lace from the market. All the sheets I have are 5 meters in length, but they are of different widths. Now, on which of these bed sheets should I put this 14 meter long lace so that it's neither too less nor any extra lace is left behind? But no thought. The total length of this lace is 14 meters, and if I want to apply this lace, on all sides of the sheet, then the perimeter of the sheet will be equal to the length of the lace required. The sheet is rectangular in shape, so in order to find its perimeter, I will need to add the width to the length and then add the width to the length once more. In other words, its perimeter will be 2 times the length plus 2 times the width. The length of the sheet is 5 meters. Let me write it here in place of the length. Now, if I subtract twice this length from the perimeter, I will get 2 times of the width. In this way, 2 times of the width will be 10. If I subtract 10 from 14, I will get 4 meters. Oh, oh wow! The width of the sheet is half of 4 meters. That is 2 meters. Bannu quickly put laces on the edges of the bed sheet having a 2 meter width. Bannu's bed sheets rose to fame in the market. Now, Bannu has to sell tablecloth. If Bannu has bought a 16 meter long lace, can you find the length of the edges of the square shaped tablecloth that Bannu can put it on? If you want, you can stop the video and find the answer. All sides of the square are of the same length. So, to find the perimeter of a square shape, we can simply multiply the length of any one of its edges by 4. The length of Bunno's lace is 16 meters. It is exactly equal to the perimeter of a square shaped tablecloth. In other words, 4 times the length of one side of the tablecloth is equal to 16 meters. Therefore, the length of one side will be 16 divided by 
फोर दैट इज फोर मीटर्स बन्नोज शॉप स्टार्टेड डूइंग फिन नॉमिनल बिजनेस सो बबन ऑल्सो स्टार्टेड हेल्पिंग हर चिल्ड्रन In this video we learned more about perimeter of a figure by some interesting examples. In the next video we will look at some of the misconceptions related to this. Children in the previous video we learned more about perimeter of a figure by some interesting examples in this video we will see some of the misconceptions relating to this both bhola and bunny have taken part in a race bhola i will run one round around this square shaped tank and you will run one round around this rectangle shaped tank Whoever completes one round of this tank first will win. Bunny told Bola. Bola agreed and the competition started. Both Bunny and Bola started running very fast. Bunny circled this tank before Bola. I won! I won! Bunny danced excitedly. Your tank was square shaped. and my tank was rectangular shaped and because the perimeter of a rectangular figure is more than that of a square shaped figure i traveled more distance compared to you so it took me longer bhola told bunny bunny heard this and started laughing <laughs> no bhola It does not necessarily mean that the perimeter of a rectangle is always greater than the perimeter of a square. We both circled our own tanks, so the distance we covered would be equal to the perimeter of those tanks. Let us calculate the perimeter of these two tanks. Let's find out. Then you will know that both of us have covered exactly the same distance. Let's see, Bhola. The size of the side of my square-shaped tank is five meters. So the perimeter of the square-shaped tank will be five multiplied by four. That is twenty meters. And The length of your rectangle shaped tank is 6 meters and the width is 4 meters. So, the rectangular tank will have the perimeter of 6 plus 6 plus 4 plus 4 or 20 meters. Thus, the perimeter of these two tanks are Exactly the same. In other words, we both have covered the same distance. Now, do you agree that I have won? Bunny asked Bola. Yes, I understand, Bunny. In celebration of your victory, let us go to eat ice cream at Bubbles Ice Cream Stall. So Bola and Bunny, both friends, went to eat ice cream. children in this video we have seen some misconceptions related to perimeter of a figure